Okay, so here we are in the teleprompter app. I'm going to explain each button and its functionality. Teleprompter is designed to work with both touch screens and with a mouse and is designed for both Windows 8 and Windows 10. If we start on the top menu, the first option is full screen. The purpose of this is if you want to force the teleprompter app to go into full screen. This will override, if possible, your current Windows settings. We also have the camera button, which I will cover later. Here, we can specify the color scheme that we prefer. This is generally the default and what most teleprompters use because this provides the best contrast when reflected against a piece of glass. Side triangles. This option was put in because I had a user who wanted to be able to use the teleprompter app to design titles for video work and he didn't want those uh, triangles here and here showing on his final product. So with this option you can hide or show the particular triangles. The next one, menu option open. What this does, this forces this lower window to stay open uh, at all times, even when you are uh, scrolling the text. Show times, this enables or disables the show times window here. And this show times shows you the total duration of your presentation, in this case 11 seconds, and shows you the remaining time and this will update as the presentation goes through. The next option is the alignment of the teleprompter text, be it left, center, or right. I will set it to left for this demo. Now if we go to the bottom menu, we first do our edit script. Okay, and this is a simple process. We can either type information into the window, Close the editor and the teleprompter is immediately updated with this new text. Or we can load a standard text file if we wanted. But if we want to get information in from another program such as Microsoft Word, these use a proprietary format. So what we must do is use cut and paste. So if I look here, if I launch Microsoft Word, I have the script from my intro. I can just right click, copy, jump back to my teleprompter go into the editor and paste and instantly I have the new information in my talent prompter. At this stage I could save the script and uh, it would be stored in the teleprompter format which I'll cover in a short moment. Next we have the help screen and here it shows little bits of information, some of it is what I'm covering in this presentation. And you also notice here that there are a number of hotkeys, so you don't need to control it with a mouse. You can actually use uh, hotkeys, or if you have something like a wireless mouse, you can control it from a distance. I prefer using one of these devices. They can be purchased very cheap, and this allows you to control the presentation from a distance and also includes a laser pointer if you're doing some type of PowerPoint presentation. Also here we have a full set of instructions which allows you to look at all different types of procedures and explains all of the features of the app. Let's go back to the main menu and explain these. So the to start button is if you're in your presentation you want to go back to the beginning say you've made a mistake you just click this and it will take you right, right back to the beginning of the presentation. Uh, the back button in a presentation, if, a, if the text is getting ahead of you and you need to catch up, you can click this back button and it will just take it back a few lines so you can get into the flow of the presentation again. Equally, you can click forward in the presentation. And the play pause button, I think, are self-explanatory. We also have scroll speed, so if we play, if we move this along, you can see that the text scrolls faster or slower. I'll jump to the text size equally, just slide to choose the text size. 
Now, if you're going to be projecting uh, this into glass, you may need to mirror or invert your text. So we have the option to mirror, invert, or you can combine the two if you want to have the tablet upside down. Next, we move on to load script. So if I go here, I've got a save script here, load, and it instantly changes the text. And if I jump back to the beginning, you can see this is a new text. Save script, equally I can just type a new name, save, and it will save. The good thing about saving a script, it also embeds the scroll speed and the text speed in the file. So you could save the file multiple times for different users set to their personal preferences, be it their text size and scroll speed. Also here we have a scroll bar. This can be operated by the mouse or by touch and you can scroll through the text. And you see there the remaining time updating depending where we are in the presentation. Finally, I'll go back and cover the camera feature. This is useful if you're just going to create a quick podcast or you want to record a video on the move, just drop the text in that you're going to deliver, and then enable the camera. And here you can see, okay, I need to sort out my hair, but here you can see the front camera of my surface has been enabled. But also there's an option to choose front or rear camera in this case, if you're using a desktop, you will also see options for your external web cameras here. And obviously you can now scroll your presentation, read, and at the same time it can be recording uh, you while you speak. Now when you enable this button, not only does it enable this feature, you'll notice that it enables a button down here called record. This is actually what records your video file to your hard drive. Now the record feature is independent from the scroll. So we can scroll and practice, get our pace right, set the speed. And then when we want to do our presentation, we just click record and we'll see a record button is here. We can start delivering our speech. And then when we're happy, we can just stop. And if I now go to file explorer, into my videos folder, you can see that a video file has been created called teleprompter video. And that can be imported and used, uploaded to YouTube, whatever you want to do. Okay, I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you want to purchase the app, it's available from the Microsoft App Store and available for both Windows 8 and Windows 10. The only uh, caveat is the Windows 8 version does not have the camera feature. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.